OBS is a free software application which is popular for streaming and recording. And the Studio Edition is what was originally called OBS Multiplatform. It has better compatibility with the MageWell Pro Capture family than the classic version of OBS because it supports many of the advanced functions that are built into the Pro Capture Cart hardware. This video will show how to use OBS Studio with three types of MageWell capture devices to stream and record on three different computer systems. Here's what we're going to use. One desktop PC with Windows and Linux installed, one MacBook Air, one Thunderbolt to PCI Express conversion box, one Pro Capture Quad HDMI card, one USB 3 HDMI capture dongle, and one XI100X USB Pro plug and play box. Let's start with a demonstration of how to live stream and record on Windows using a Pro Capture card. With OBS running, the first task is to add a new source. Right click on the source window or press the plus button and add a video capture device from the list of options. We want to create a new device and then type in an appropriate name, after which we'll see the property window for the new video source. The device is set to one of the four inputs from the Pro Capture Quad HDMI. If the colour of the preview image doesn't look correct, it will probably be because OBS Studio has a problem in supporting the NV12 colour space. To resolve this issue, click Resolution and FPS Type and then choose Custom. Type in the resolution, after which you can choose the colour space. Any format apart from NV12 should restore the colour back to normal. Scrolling down this screen will reveal other settings, including Vertical Flip, which MageWell doesn't include in their Direct Show driver. If you want to capture audio alongside the video, the custom audio device can be chosen here. In this case, the same input channel of the Pro Capture card as was used for the video. As you probably know, the MageWell capture devices have powerful video processing functions which are performed by the hardware on the card rather than by using the CPU. The Configure Video button will open the MageWell property panel where these functions can be controlled. We recommend using the inbuilt hardware up-down scaling, deinterlacing, cropping and OSD functions because it will result in lower CPU usage compared to using the software equivalents. Note that the deinterlacing function defaults to the field blending mode. If your source is progressive and does not require deinterlacing, this can be changed to the weave mode, meaning that no deinterlacing processing will take place. Before you stream or record, you might want to adjust the encoding and streaming settings, and then you can start. We can see that the Pro Capture cards can work perfectly with OBS. What about the plug and play USB 3 capture dongles and boxes? We'll skip the setting up procedure because it's similar to using the Pro Capture card, but it's actually easier because you don't have to select a custom color format. Here's the result, and you can see that they also work well. On Mac OS X, the OBS interface is very similar to the Windows version. Because a MacBook doesn't have a PCI Express slot, you might need a Thunderbolt to PCI Express conversion device like this one. We'll skip the setting up process and show you the result. Next, let's look at streaming and recording using OBS on Linux. To conclude, all of the MageWell capture devices are compatible with OBS Studio under Windows. While on Linux and Mac, OBS supports the Pro Capture family, the USB 3 dongles, and the plug and play versions of the capture boxes.